Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Alpine Rhino Beer Review. Today of the Rhino, we got to drink a beer. There's a couple beers back here. I uh, eat my back as I reach back here and grab a beer. Um, what we got left? We don't have much left, eh? Mm. No. There's a stout back here, I know it. You know what, we'll do this guy. So this is a beer. This is a beer that has a blue bottle, first off. And these blue bottles are much like a green bottle in that they do let in uh, UV light that can skunk a beer. I don't know how long this has been out of a case. Uh, I do hear this is expensive beer to buy. Um, so it is Kitty Vitty. It's made with pure 20,000 year old iceberg water. And this is iceberg, which is a staple in Newfoundland from what I'm told. It is 4.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, it has the Kitty Vitty bottle cap. If I still collected bottle caps, that would be a really nice one to add to one of the tables I would make because I made a lot of tables out of bottle caps. Uh, I really like the color of the bottle. And um, that's, that's about where it sits with that. Um, I guess pry off crown. I did, uh, I did get my son to pass me the can opener, which as he went to get it for me, I heard, Chad, da, 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 McGee, you better put that can opener back where you found it. I didn't find it. My son did. So we're just going to leave this right here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. So. Yeah, where'd my cup go? So again, I've heard so much about Iceberg, and I hear it's about 20 bucks a six pack, which a lot of people would say is normal, and then other people would say it isn't. It matters where you're residing. Um, crystal clear, straw yellow color. Looks like a beer. Uh, I guess I should keep this to sniff it, eh? So made with 20,000 year old Iceberg water. So here's my question, um, how are you fishing icebergs out of the, out of the ocean and then, um, bringing them to Kitty Vitty and melting them down there and then brewing from that? Are you going out and getting hunks of it? Are you like, I just, I don't understand the, well, I understand, but I don't see where, I guess I don't see, I see the niche idea for it. I don't see the the money in in the time and effort to get an iceberg and melt it and use it. I just anyway, scent. A little bready and biscuity glass. No, uh, about the same, just add in a little bit of uh a bready biscuity and a little bit of skunky. Just the tiniest touch of skunk, like uh, just like a little bit of a sulfur fur. Just a... Let's try it. Cheers. I'm really excited, to be honest. Hmm. That's clean. It's crisp. It's easy drinking. It has a little bit of like Euro lager sweetness at the forefront and a little bit of English bready biscuitiness on the back end. Uh, it's an interesting fighting right outside the door, right outside the door. Um, I like the beer. I do. Do I think I'd pay the money for it? Do I think I would uh, fawn over it? Do I think I would... Probably not, but it's a solid beer. There's nothing wrong with that beer. Get that beer cold, I could drink it all night long. There's no bad aftertaste. There's no... There's nothing wrong with it. And it's 4.5% alcohol, so I legitimately could drink it all night long. Out of 10 on that? I don't know. 675? I don't think I'd buy a six-pack knowing the price of them, but I would have absolutely no problem drinking that. 
Thank you guys. Bye.